Second Maccabees, chapter two and verse one. Read, brother. It is also found in the records that Jeremy, the prophet, commanded them that were carried away to take of the fire. Uh huh. As it have been sanctified. Signified. Signified. And how that the prophet, Salakia, and how that the prophet, uh -huh. having given them the law. That gave them what, brother? The law. Uh -huh. The prophets gave them the law. Charged them not to forget the commandments of the Lord. He tried to keep the commandments of the Lord on their mind so they wouldn't forget it and be in sin and doing all kind of things against God. And that they should not err in their mind. Uh -huh. When they see images of silver and gold with their ornaments. Talking about that Christmas tree. Don't celebrate Christmas. You, got, you know? That's right. That's in the book of Jeremiah, chapter what, 10, 1 and 3? It tells us about that. No Christmas. No celebrate Nimrod. That's Nimrod's birthday. Nimrod, so even his wife was evil. That's right. She said she was pregnant. But didn't, know, didn't have no sex with nobody. Because she was a liar and she did have sex with somebody. She had sex with who, brother? Her son. That's, right. That's who it was. Read. And with other such speeches, exhort, Salakia, exhorted he them that the law should not depart from their heart. You should keep these laws, statutes, and commandments on your mind, and they should never depart from you. It was also contained in the same writing that the prophet, being warned of Yahweh, uh -huh. commanded the taber tabernacle and the ark to go with him as he went forth into the mountain uh -huh. where Moses climbed up and saw the heritage of Yahweh. When Moses climbed up and saw the heritage of God was the law, statutes, and commandments. Because the law, statutes, and commandments is our heritage for life. That, that's why. Second Maccabee chapter 4 verse 9. Beside this, he promised to assign an a hundred and fifty more if he might have license to set him up a place for exercise. Now this is very deceiving and deceitful what they are doing to our young people. The same thing they are doing to us today. Read brother. And for the training up of youth. Uh, and, and for the training up of what, brother? Youth. For the training up of the youth. In the fashions of the heathen. In the fashion, the customs, and traditions of the heathens. And to write them of Jerusalem by the name of Anti Antiochians. You see? Now they get to our young people. That's right. Because they didn't want the old people. The old people were dead or they were already destroyed. But they had to destroy the minds of the young people that was coming up today so they would follow the king's decree. Me? That's right. Which when the king had granted and he had gotten into his hand the war he for for with brought his own nation to the Greekish fashion. He brought his own nation to the ways of the Grecians. That's why a lot of people today talk about they are Gentiles. That's why. They might be in a Gentile state of mind because of the dispersion. 
but they are Israelites and That's nothing right. else. And the award privileges granted of special favor uh -huh. to the Jews. To who? The Jews. To who? The Jews. Read. By the means of who met the means of John, the father of Emporius, who went ambassador to Rome uh -huh. for him. Emedy and add he aid he took away and put it down the government to who the government the government which were according to the law he went he meant which were according to the law he brought up new customs against the law he brought up new custom against the law for he built gladly a place, place of exercise. He built a place of exercise for the young brothers. Under the tower itself, and brought the chief, young man, under his suggestion. Had him up under his authority. Read. And made them wear a hat. And made them wear a hat. That was a helmet. To see what they did to it. They, they didn't go after anybody else. They went after the youth. That's right. Because if you can destroy the youth, you can destroy a whole nother hundred years of people. But if you can't, it won't work. So they know what they be doing. They are the most shrewdest and crafty, deceiving people on the face of the earth. That's right. Me? Now such was the height of the of Greek fashions uh -huh. and increase of hidden hedonish matters through the exceeding profaneness of Jason uh -huh. that ungodly wretch that ungodly wretch that traded and turned his people against the most high God's word and no high priest that the priest had no courage to serve anymore it was cowed they were scared. You can't be scared when you want to talk to be for the most high God. That's right. You got to be bold. No matter what, you got to stand tall through it all. Be down with it or quit it. But you got to decide which way you going to go. Like we come out here every seventh day. Somebody can be crazy. You come out here and want to do stuff. But we come out here bold for the most high God. That's right. We don't care because we got these holy angels that's watching over us. The altar, but the despising the temple and neg neg naturally the electing the sacrifices has has earned hasten to the partakers of the unlawful allowance in the place of exercise after the game. Discus called After the game of discus. What, what, what they do with the discus? They got them customs from the Romans. The Olympics. That's right. Read. Called them forth, not seeking by the honors of their fathers, uh -huh. but liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. See, they didn't care about what they fathered. They didn't want to keep the laws of their fathers. They wanted to keep the laws of the Grecians, of the Greeks. And that's what's wrong now. America is under the authority of just the same Greek that's mythology. Right. Catholicism. Read. By reason whereof sore calamity came upon them, uh -huh. for they have them to be their enemies Read. and adventurers. Whose custom they allowed, followed so earnestly, and up unto whom they despised to be desired to be like in all things. They wanted to be just like them. The same way we want to be now, but the Bible tells us it says, Envy not thy oppressor. That's right. And choose none of his ways. But that's all we want to do is be like our oppressor. Want to have blood and hair. Want to go out 
out there doing all the strange things in the world that they do. Not knowing that if you keep God law, statutes, and commandments, you're the best thing that he has ever created. That's right. And that's why they tell you the laws are done away with. To keep you in sin. So you can go where they eventually is going to go. And that's to the lake of fire. After they come out of captivity to the Israelites. Am I right, brothers? That's right. Read. For it is not a light thing to do wickedly against the laws of God. That's why it's going on today. All people dying and killing because they're doing wicked things against the Most High God's law. That's right. They're not keeping the laws. That's why they're going through every atrocity that's going on today because they're being obedient to the word of the Most High God. They're not being obedient. That's right. But the time falling shall declare these things. The times following declare these things. We see it every day. We see the results of it. That's we see right. the dying out in the street. We see the hunger that's going on. We see the GMOs. We see them putting all the pork and all the things in the grocery stores. We see them putting pork or beef on the sign. But if you don't read the fine print, you'll be eating pork. That's why you got the Bible say, blessed is he that read it. That's why. You better know what you read because if you don't, you can be deceived. The book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 5, verse 13. Read, brother. Thus there was killing of young and old, uh -huh. making a way of men women and children, slaying of virgins and infants. They was killing everybody. They didn't kill anybody. The same way they didn't kill anybody us then, they don't kill anybody us today. God. They was God. killing. Well, read that scripture again for me, brother. Thus were Salakia. The book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 5, verse 13. Read, brother. Thus there was killing of young and old. Killing of young folks and old folks. Making a way of men, women, and children. Slaying of virgins and infants. They was even killing a little bitty baby. We know down in the state of Florida, they was feeding our people, our little bitty kids, the alligator for alligator bait. That's right. They was putting the men in cages and putting barbed wire around the cages. And when they struggled to get out, the sharks would come up. And they was using them for bait to be able to catch sharks. All kind of atrocity because we don't want to keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. God. We didn't come over here to prosper. God sent us over here to repent of our sin. But That's we right. start envying our oppressor and choosing their way. And there were destroyed. So lucky. And there were destroyed within the space of three whole days. Uh -huh. Four score thousand. Four thousand? Whereof forty thousand were slain in the conflict and no fewer sold than slain. Uh -huh. Yet was he not content with this? He wasn't satisfied with that. He wanted to kill some more. But priest presumed right, presumed. to go into the most holy temple uh -huh. of all the world. Read Jerusalem. That's the most holy temple in all the world. What's Jerusalem? Read. Menelaus, that he traitor. Was, he was a traitor. To the law and to his own country being his guide. And taking the holy vessel with polluted hands. What was the holy vessel? The holy vessel was the Ark of the Covenant. But, and with profane hands pulling down the things that were dedicated by other kings to the augmentation and glory and honor of the place he gave Lucky. He gave them away. He gave them away. He didn't care anything about nothing. It's the same way it is today, but today they ain't giving away nothing. They taking everything. That's right. That's what they doing.
second, Mac B, chapter six, verse one and nine. Me. Not af not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews. He sent an old man. See, he figured if he was to send an old man, they would listen to him. He sent an old man to compel the Jews. Read. To depart from the laws of their fathers. To do what, brother? Depart from their laws of their fathers. To depart from the laws of their fathers. So they sent a man that they thought was in authority to talk to the people to try to persuade them to stop keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. Read. Not to live after the laws of God. Not to do what, brother? Not to live after the laws of God. Not to follow the laws of God. Read. And to pollute also the temple in Jerusalem. And to go and pollute the temple in Jerusalem. And to call it the temple of Jupiter. Olympias. See? They just destroy everything that's ours. They want to defile it. And they want right. to turn it into pagan principles and pagan symbols and have you to serve them so God can kill you. Read. And that in the Gwizen of Jupiter, the defender of strangers mm -hmm. as they did decide, that dwell in the place. Read. The coming in of his. This mischief. The coming in of this mischief. A bunch of junk that's been to go on. Was sore and, and grievous to the people. It was hard for the people. It was hard on the people. Read. For the temple was filled with riot, riot and trap and revel. Revealing by the Gentiles. By who, brother? The Gentiles. They were filled by the Gentiles. That's why we think they Gentile. But you're not no Gentile. You are Hebrew Israelite, an original Jew. God chosen twelve. That's right. Three. Who daily with horrors. They were dealing with horrors. Horrors mean whore. And had to do with women within the circuit of the holy places. Uh huh. And besides the altar, and besides that, that brought in the da in things that were not lawful. They brought in all kind of things. Homosexuality, lesbianism, prostitution. They brought in all those things that wasn't lawful. The altar also was filled with profane things which the law forbid. The thing that the laws were forbidden, they brought them in anyway and put them on God's altar. One of the highest degrees of respect to the most high that it was. That's right. Neither it was lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days. It was unlawful for a man to even keep the Sabbath day. Or ancient feast or to part Profess himself at all to be a Jew. They couldn't even say they was a Jew. It was impossible for the for the, a Jew to even say that he was a Jew. That's right. And in the day of the king's birth, this is why we ain't supposed to be dealing with no birthdays because they told us it came from the king. Free. Every month they were bought by bitter constraint. To eat of the sacrifices, and when the feast of Bargus was kept, the Jews were compelled to go in procession to Bargus, crying ivy. Doing what? Crying ivy. Doing what? Carrying ivy. Carrying ivy. That's right, brother. <laughs> Moreover, there went out a decree to the neighbor cities of the heathen. Of the who? The heathen. Of the other nations, read. By the suggestion of Ptolemy. Uh-huh. Against the Jews. Against who? The Jews. Everything was against the Jews. 
that they should observe the same fashions and be put. Be partakers of their sacrifice. They gotta do the same thing that the king wants everybody else to do. They gotta do it too. Read. And whoso would not conform themselves to the matters of the Gentiles. If you didn't start living like the Gentiles, if you didn't start doing the things that the Gentiles were doing, read. Should be put to death. If you didn't want to do the thing the Gentiles were doing, they put you to death. So you ain't no stinking Gentile. You are a Hebrew Israelite and original Jew. That's right. You are not no Gentile. You might be in a Gentile state of mind, but you are not no Gentile. That's right. We should be put to death. Then a then might a man have set, seen the present mystery. See, we're going to see all that misery. They're going to put you to death. Those days are coming back again, brothers and sisters, that you're going to have to make a choice. That you're going to be with the most high or you're going to die. That's right. One of the two. There's going to be choices that have to be made. And we're going to have to make the right decision. We're going to have to choose God because God ways is best. Am I right, brother? That's right. That's what the Bible say. Not what I say. Not what this brother say. Not what that brother say. But what the Bible says. And that's what we should obey. What the Bible says. The book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 7 and verse 32. For we suffer because of our sins. We, wait a minute. The Bible says we suffer because of what, brother? Our sins. Yeah. We suffer because of our sins. And though the living Lord be angry with us a little while for our chastening, chastening and correction, yet shall he be at one again with his servant. He's going to give us another opportunity because our God is long-suffering. And he do That's not right. wish that any of us should what? Perish. That's right. Okay. That's what we got to do. We got to make sure we do it the way that God said, like Peter say. That's for, uh, for Peter to say what? We going to what? Serve God mm. and not man. We going right. to have faithful service and not lip service. Read. Precept. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse 1. Read what the Bible say. Yet now hear, O Jacob. O who? O Jacob. No, the whole world. Jacob. O Jacob. Read. My servant. My who? My servant. servant. Read what the Bible say. And Israel. Whom I have chosen. Who he told? Israel. No, I thought he told the whole world. Israel. Israel. Read. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb. From where? Womb. Oh. Read. Which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant. And thou, Jerusalem, I have chosen. He chose that. He didn't choose anybody else. There ain't nowhere in the Bible that you can find where God chose anybody but the twelve. That's right. Because those are who his father sent him for was the twelve and not nobody else. Stop believing lies. Stop believing a bunch of junk. And start believing what the word of God says. Stop believing what the preacher tell you. Because the preacher is up under white supremacy. Start believing what the Bible is saying, brothers and sisters. That's right. All right. Second Maccabees, chapter 7, and the end of verse 33. Yet shall he be at one again with his servants. Uh-huh. But thou, O godless man. O godless, O sinful man. And of all other most wicked. And the wicked. 
Be not lifted up without a cause. Be not lifted up without a cause. Nor puffed up with uncertain hopes. Or puffed up. Lifting up thy hand against the servants of God. That's what they do when they come out here. They lift up their hands against us. That's they right. always talk about us. They always say we preach and hate. But what it is, they hate the truth. Because we read what the word of God says. That's right. Scriptures that you ain't never heard. Scriptures that your pastor has never told you. Because your pastor is up under white supremacy. God. And he's going to hell. Verse 35. For thou hast not yet escaped the judgment of almighty Yahweh. Who seeth all things. He sees everything. And you think you're going to escape the judgment that you done did to his people? That's right. There will be a recompense for what you've done to the so-called black man. For what you've done to the so-called Mexican man. For what you've done to the so-called Seminole Indian. You're going to have to pay a recompense. Because That's ain't right. nobody went to jail for, no, for slavery. Ain't nobody went to jail for killing us. Every time they kill us, what happens? Give me that in the, give me that in the book of uh, Zechariah 11 and 5. Let's see what happened when they kill us. That's what they do. They get away with murder. They killed that girl, Brianna Taylor. Went in the house and killed her while she was asleep. Thank you. Thank you. And they still didn't do anything. Because her family sold out for $12.5 million. They don't want to tell you that. Read it. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Read. Whose possessors slay them. The possessors slay us. And, and what do they do, brother? And hold themselves not guilty. And they hold themselves not guilty. You ain't got That's what they do. They kill us. And when they go to court for a preliminary hearing, they hold themselves not guilty. That's right. And what happened? They go on paid vacation. Same way when they killed that girl, Berea Burana. They went on paid vacation. Because we still in captivity. And still in servitude to the white man. Enjoy your day, brother.